Fight News. And now, everybody, everybody I want you to listen to me. I'm gonna go on my knees like that and ask the UFC management to give me a world title shot. Please, I want the belt so bad. Give it to me. I'm not gonna do what mistake this time. Give me a chance for the belt. Thank you very much. Here's Thoroughbred. Oh, nice little combinations, both not afraid to physical condition. Oh, nice right. Anything maybe to set up with the face of St. Pierre. Oh, nice right hand there. St. Pierre two times. Nice left hook, he's right. Pierre with a good couple of rights. And now be a little foggy. He's oh. out. Oh. That good one was tight on the button. Enough to grab a hold of that leg. Tough guy. This is just he's still shots. wobbling. And take me out. Down he goes. Mazzi got him. Leaves his hand. He's rocked, but he immediately calls him to bring it on. This is what took him as a referee. He knew that Jay Heron had had enough. Jo Flip that he did in the whole fight. Shows a little break dancing. Very nice, George. I like this guy. You know, we fought together today, but I like this guy. He's a true gentleman. Well, congratulations. Good job, and we look forward to seeing you again here. At the Thank UFC. you very much, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Working it closely. Wow, yeah. Oh, oh. reach advantage. Yeah, that reach Pierre advantage. Really, really, bad. really bad position for Frank Trey. Excellent mount. And St. Pierre is slowly muscling Frank Trey up against the We've seen this before. Time against Matt Hughes in this position. It's an excellent back control. Ability of Frank Trey trying to get back in the car. So strong for 170 pounds. Trey. He's turning purple. He doesn't have it fully. He's in half guard now. It's a slightly better position. He's dominating Frank Trigg. This is surprise. St. Pierre passes guard again. He's bloody and he's bad. St. Pierre trying to finish this fight. And this is what I've always said. With guard, it's so much more dominant position to pass. Get into a different position. Yeah, close and down. He's got the net. Damn, this should be it. It's yeah. a dagger. It is on the end of the fight here. George just takes his back, rolls him over, and that's it. Thomas jumped out. Great trick. Uh, I lost against Matt Hughes. The first time I fought him, he beat me fair and square, but I was not ready. I was too young. Mentally, I was, I was not uh, confident in myself, but now I would like to have a rematch. Now I'm two times better than I was when I fought him the first time, and I hope it's gonna happen. Science, extreme supplements for extreme. Re oh, human as you mentioned, and quick to escape. I'm not sure you can see the reach in me. Yeah, George St. Pierre is an excellent striker. Trying to strike. Exchange leg kicks in any in any fraction. Quicker exchanges you'll never see. Pocket throw punches. Exchange knee bends. Again, when they're wrapped up like this, shirt. Incredible and violent takedown by George St. And I don't think Sean expected him to try to take him down. Boy, the fact a total rule reversal here. The short blows being exchanged as we approach.
playing with the second round. Again, good right leg kick. Swan's got a good left hook in top. Good, good, nice front leg switch kick. Stick him with the jab. Should burst. He's doing a good George to counter scramble out of, and the power of Matt Hughes. Oh, Superman punch! Cheating. Take down here, Superman punch. Great. Hughes is Matt Hughes is here. And Very nice. With one second remaining in the first round. Rogan's not here, so you gotta say something like that. <laughs> I, just to know, just to let, let Joe know we're thinking of him. Oh, oh nice. a foot. First met. Oh, nice stiff. Pro warship is gone. Caught him again. Out of his own. It's... Oh, oh big hit. Thank you. By George. Kick to the head. Right to the... When he stuns Hughes, he goes in for the finish. Unlike in the... That John saw that Matt wasn't defending himself. With the elbows. And it is. And it's over. And the torch is passed tonight here in Sacramento. I just want to say it's the best moment my professional career and maybe I'm not from US I'm not an American I'm not from USA but I would make everything possible to keep this title in North American territory thank you very much I read look at that that's what I'm talking about I mean that's some serious takedown defense there 50 the first matchup of these two he takes Matt down he was able to take him down at will but they weren't able to mission power because of the fact that he's a wrestler St. Pierre trying to utilize a little grounded power. Taking a page out of the game. Hughes. Matt back to full guard here. The title fight, Joe, so it is scheduled for... St. Oh, he's, oh, he's in trouble now. Out. Position up against the bench. They warn him about the, the power, strikes though. to the back of the head. Full. Trying to get Matt to release that body lock. St. Pierre warned. Full mount, Matt, great strength. Trying to survive down, this first round. Break it loose, and Matt gets it back again. Ten seconds remain. He's got an arm. Here at UFC 79. Again, another. Sure. What happened in the first round when he did take him down? Trying to strike from the bottom. Matt's doing a good job of keeping him in that full guard. It's Christmas. And was more than willing. That rematch against Sarah. 
Hughes wants Sarah's. More of the same so far here in the beginning of round two. Hard here. Now George is trying the can opener by pulling back. to do is get Matt to uh, release his legs. So because George is looking, the legs are open now. Control one of his wrists here. He can get out of this, the, 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 the side there. He mounts up and he takes his back. Hughes is really tough to choke out with Pierre. Has said many times, the best learn. Knees inside another. Here's the takedown. Look at this sweep. Boom. A few. George just stepped over for a triangle. 20 seconds. A triangle on the other. Trying to submit Hughes. Bridges tries to roll him over, leaves that arm extended. George tests. And it's all over. Deep, deep trouble. He tapped a better grip of the lip. He's saying, I'm tapping. Right there. That's why I'm gonna take off this belt because for me, yes, it's a good collection, but doesn't mean nothing to me. Thanks to the UFC to give me that, it's a good, uh, good honor. But the real champion is Matt Serra, and until I, I don't get my belt back, I'm not gonna consider myself champion. What does that say about George St. Pierre's respect? And then Matt Serra, as we found out the first time. Matt Serra's using a lockdown on that guard, trapping that leg very tightly. His back, he can do it all on the ground. An interesting start for George St. Pierre. So he's down. I am. Uh, I at least uh, thought a uh, striker here uh, in this octagon, but. Oh, by Matt Serra. Answered by George St. Pierre. Arms inside of George St. Pierre's oh! hands. Sarah looked a little frustrated going back to his corner. Here coming down to the guard of Matt Sarah. Nice one to come. The one noticeable difference again in this position is he's so much strong. Back to a closed guard. Matt Sarah takes it out this first round. Championship fight. Those, those punches, those elbows. And Sarah now. St. Pierre is gonna this is bad for Matt Sarah. George St. Pierre dominant position here in round one. St. Pierre has to be kicked to his feet. St. Pierre. Matt Serra trying to escape. It's gonna, it's gonna spend a lot of energy. And powerful Matt Serra. Stand-up game, Kenny. You've talked about it a lot. Nice Superman. Part. Very nice. He used this very effectively against Josh Costa. Oh, wow. What's surprising me the most, though, is the passing skills. Exactly what I was talking about earlier when analyzing this fight. He needs to use his rhythm. He's not gonna, he's not gonna be confident standing up. What a great first! Sarah again. For St. Pierre. That's his martial arts today. There's other guys. Played with Josh Koscheck. The Sean Shirt. Frank Trigg. All of us. Dangerous inside with those. St. Pierre. Gotta get those hands up, Matt Sarah. Hang in that left hand. Here to work his jab and work his spot to throw that big, which that, that overhand right that you alluded to earlier. And Matt Sarah right now could be in trouble. Well, the conditioning of Sarah. Question. But still, here is, is a category generally shot at 170 because he fought maybe above the situation. Sarah is surviving, but can he start to score any points? Here on top, kind of chipping away. And really, Matt Serra to spend the energy. Very small. Looks up at the clock. And George is playing this very smart too. Right here. Side control, midnight long for GSP. He's using a top of those takedowns to George St. Pierre. Knees. Sarah. Eve Levine right on top of the action. Sarah turns, GSP doesn't. They obviously have a lot of respect for each other. More knees by GSP. George St. Pierre enjoys. Your hand up to Matt Sarah. He hung in there. George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre is the undisputed UFC. First, I want to say thanks to Matt Sarah. He came here. He took the fight in my town, in Quebec, in Canada, in Montreal. Man, it means a lot to me. And if one day we have to fight again in New York, I will do the sacrifice, I promise. I'm a man of my word. I will go in your town to fight you if we have to quit. Dramatically over the years. The 
Matt Hughes fight was really shocking to a lot of people. BJ's hips, and BJ's still hopping around. George again trying very hard. How sick. And uh, back in the old days. So, to our leadership, to our great fans. And these are two of the best of all time. St. Pierre. BJ also has. He's very good at. That's a great point. He's a talented dude. Really talented. You're talking about a guy who won the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and he won it after training for. St. Pierre. Lee after his first fight against Matt Hughes. He's also. A, a BJ Penn. Leg kick. At least it's being displayed so far. To break down BJ Penn. The fight really hasn't been that cool. He hasn't laid his eyes back. Dexterity and flexibility that he has is really hard to deal with. Good elbow. St. Pierre, and here's the knees to the body. He used those very effective towards the waist of George St. Pierre. Yeah. He's trying to do what's called the gym. He gets back to go. Wow, how much has this sport changed? People just cheered. Pierre. As well. Bam! Ground and pounds as that gets right back into position to guard. Very nice. And in front of his own corner is the prodigy. This is one of the first times I think. Weighed in at 168. Oh, how nicely set. Nice. Mixing it up is St. Pierre. Nice jab. Beautiful fake jab. And another jab by Penn. Can he get him down again? Yes. He does. Pass guard again. He's halfway there. His ability to objectively look at his skill set and find the weakness. He's always ready and he always works his. The athlete is a guy that is outstanding at every single aspect of It's so slippery now at this point, though, Mike. Round, covered in sweat. It's it's so easy. Counterfeit. BJ always pronounced. He just holds that leg up there. He's preventing an arm. St. Pierre in his career, five and zero in fights that have careers. His revenge and his title defense against Matt Serra, magical night. Again, the advantage GSP. GSP just took a look at the time. Establishing the center of the octagon, the welter. And George St. Pierre is looking fired up. Caught. I mean, let me tell you something. BJ Penn's guard, guard, his ability to hold guys in place, and he can't do anything with GSP. GSP's got him inside control. Where BJ Hughes. BJ brings it back to secure the, the, the side control position. The strikes to the back of the head, so he goes to the hammer. St. Pierre here in round four. Confidence in his ability to pass the guard makes him. He's very confident that he can just pop his leg back out and get. Look at that. I mean, come on. He's getting better. That's the scary. He's evolved more since the matchup in 06. And what this is, is a, a testament to George St. Pierre. Focus and his work ethic. Because no one works harder than this guy. Right here. Again, passes. Best of all time. George St. Pierre has answered. It's how honest he is about those mistakes. Yes. When he talked after the first round, he said, I was hurt and I was scared. Fans, when he's communicating. Look at this. He's beaten. Corners ass. 
him if he wants this. Of course he wants it. And I don't think physically he can pull anything more out of his body. I wanted a decision. This time I really wanted to take him out. And I'm glad that I did it. He's very tough. <laughs> it was an amazing performance. Of one of the The top hands hit. That's the that's the rear choke. Wow! Oh my goodness! I'm a, I'm a fighter, but I've been a fan of this man. He's a true example of hard work and, and, and perseverance in the sports. So Michael, man, all my respect to you, man. George St. Pierre, ladies and gentlemen.